everybody, welcome to Build Your Stash Week 3. This week we're gonna do two things, one handmade and one just fill in some beads. So I didn't feel like that deserved its own week really for me anyways. So I'm gonna show you how I did these two things and let's get started. Uh, first we're gonna do the easy thing, which was the beads, uh, or I should say flat backs, um, which is this. So I made a total of four of them. Again, I am using the, let me pull it out here, Terrace Blooms paper pad supplemented by like cardstock and, and glitter paper, stuff like that. So that's what I'm using. Okay, so I did um, double it with a cardstock because it was a little flimsy to leave on its own like that. So those are that. Okay, so here's my supplies. So I used some small baggies that I got at a local Dollar Tree, I think it's called Dollarama, and I bagged up all my beads, or my flat bags that I wanted to use. Okay, here's that, my little, where's my, there's my bell, okay. So then I just wanna make sure when I'm checking it that all the bottoms, op all, all the, you know, the closures open at the bottom. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is start stapling my flat backs to the paper where I want them. So I'm just gonna take my stapler and make sure all my flat backs are kind of toward the bottom and start stapling. On some of them I just used one staple, on one of them I, or two I used hot glue, and this is just what I've come to that I think works the best for me. So, so I'm gonna do that. I'm not taking those staples off because this is the second time. I stapled them to the wrong color last time. So silly. I stapled them to the pink. Uh, I am double doubling these because, um, the cardstock on these because this paper, even though it's a nice weight, it's not um, heavy enough to hold these flat backs well so that it's kind of flimsy for that. So let's do that one. Next is this one. And last but not least, this one. Then I am going to add my back to it. Okay, for that I'm just going to use hot glue. I think I gotta pull my, sorry I'll edit that. Okay, there we go. Alright, for this I'm using hot glue and I'm just going to put my first line right here and then get that lined up good. Okay, that's nice and lined up. Careful, the hot glue's hot. I know that seems like a silly thing to say, but some people aren't used to hot glue and they think when they see it on a video, it's not a big deal to do that, but it is. And if you're not used to it or um, not seasoned with hot glue, then you don't realize how bad it can burn you. Okay, I'm just gonna put this last little bit. Okay. There's that, and that is lined up really well. So that's done there. Then I've got my topper, and that's a die cut from Allie. Okay, gonna center that. Gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna add my bow, figure out which side I like best. I'm gonna put that down. Put that right over the staple to cover it. And then I've got a little bead. and on top of that okay and then the beads are sorry the flat backs are done okay so now we have all our flat backs there are five of them that I've made to put into my stash uh, again this will we will have a partner at the end of this sorry for the shaking I always put my knees under my table and it shakes it um, and we'll have a partner at the end of this, and so my partner will get one. And also, don't forget, if you like and comment on all of my videos for this series, then you can be entered to win one of these as well, uh, one whole set of everything I do, including this video. Okay, so there is the flat backs. Then next, we are going to do these, guys. These are the pinwheels. And I got to tell you, I'm super, super frustrated because I made a set of pinwheels, and then we were going to package them. 
and do a part of one and my cat took off with one of them <laughs> she because it had a it had a the string on it and that so she has made it disappear into the netherlands so we're gonna make a little more than what i anticipated so here is the pinwheel die cut with where is the other piece of the pinwheel now did i misplace it already how fantastical i'm so good have to find that part or pause and, and die cut all right anyhow here is the um die cut itself okay this came from melina crafts and this is part of the packaging so if you want to know what those look like okay and then i've got to find that other piece oh my word already okay okay i'm back um all right so i die cut the middle piece the center out again so we will put that together and i'll show you everything we need for that and then we are going to put together one other small piece okay so anyhow let's get started on putting this guy together so for this guy you need something like a paintbrush or a stylus or a bone folder or something and you just want to give the each of the pinwheel parts a nice whatever you want to call this okay <laughs> nice crease here and then you want to get your brad Okay, uh, I've tried to use big brads in this. You can, but I don't think it looks as good. And I have shown this before on my uh, video with the die cut swap with uh, Scrap the World. And you just want to put that in the middle of this guy and then through each of the prongs on the pinwheel. All right, not that hard. Just takes a quick minute. Okay. And then once you're done, you're going to push it through the center, okay, then flip it on the back. All right, so that is that portion of the pinwheel, okay? And then um, for the back part, I have used some of this twine, okay? This is like the, um, if you can buy this at Michael's, um, this is metallic twine, and I use this copper color. Um, I've had this for years and years and years, um, and I'm finally glad I'm using some of it up. So I'm just gonna take and wrap until I have it four times around my fingers, which, again, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna cut that. Sorry for the lighting. I'm getting a little bit of a shadow, but that's all right. Okay, so that's how much I want. And we'll see how I can wrap it to my liking. Get that out of the way. All right. All right, here we go. So, just gonna do that. You can buy this, like I said, you could buy this twine at Michael's and stuff individually. I think it's about $2 per, um, I don't know if it's called a skein or skein or whatever your arm's called, okay. I'm gonna set that down on my mat. I'm gonna put some glue here. And then I'm just gonna put that in the middle. You can always adjust a little bit after as well. All right, let's see if that's dry enough. Okay, now I can pinch and adjust on the back how I want it. Okay, I am gonna cut this one open and I'm gonna let it have some feathering okay perfect all right and then I'm just gonna add to the back a one of these guys to make it look more put together I'm pretty generous with my hot glue hot glue is not so expensive that you don't want to make your projects look nice and use it in abundance Okay, so there's that guy. So that's one more made, right? Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Sorry, the messy hot glue pad I have. All right, the next one is going to be, we are gonna, so that's that one, that's that one. Now we're gonna finish off this guy. For the edges of this, I use this new stuff that everybody's raving about and I have to add my raving to it. Uh, Glitterific by Folk Art. Love this stuff, it's fantastic, it's fun. It's like a gel, it's so great. Um, so I am going to finish putting this one together for you guys. So I have this stick from, it's a toothpick from Daiso. 
Um, it's pretty thick and juicy and yummy. I have some of this copper uh, washi tape, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna also get my art glitter glue. You can use whatever kind of glitter you, I'm sorry, any, whatever kind of glue you have. Okay, so you can use whatever kind of glue you have. And I am going to un re take off the release paper from my washi tape. So I have taken the release paper off the back of my copper tape, and I'm just gonna kinda have that stick down there just a little bit. Okay, then I am gonna add my glitter dip glue to it just a little bit, because you know, washi tape, it really honestly doesn't stick all that great. Okay, I'm gonna put that on my stick. There we go. Okay, then I'm gonna add a little more to my stick. Okay. Alrighty then. Then I am going to hold over that side. Okay. I'm going to hold over that side. And then I'm going to It's a little bit finicky, but you just got to play with it a little bit. Okay, now for the, you're not going to see the top at all. It's going to get glued to the back of the pinwheel. But for the bottom, I like to take one more small piece of the washi tape and just give it a finished look. So I'm going to do that. So I have one more small piece. I'm going to release, do the release paper. And if you see the video kind of jump a little bit, it's only because I'm editing to cut out all the time it takes me to do things like release paper from the washi or peel glue off my fingers or stuff like that. So if you see the editing and the jumping, that's why. So now I have that. So I'm gonna feel where the skinny part was that's here. So that's gonna be attached. And then I'm gonna just take this one and I'm gonna wind it around the bottom because that's gonna show. Okay. All right, excellent. Okay, so that's our stick. And the stick goes on the one with the um, glitterific paint. And then we're gonna do this onto the back of it, pre-punch this out of a piece of glitter paper. So first I'm gonna put a dab of glue on the back here. Then I'm gonna put the stick. Then I'm gonna put some more glue. I need another glue stick. Okay, around the rest of here. Stick. Okay, and then my pinwheel. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Okay. All right. All right, so then that is our third one. So now we have our three pinwheels, okay? We didn't do anything to put this guy together. This is the same, you put it away, put it together the same as the other two and it just has uh, tulle fabric on the back of it, okay? And a big flat circle. All right, so those are their three. All right, so now our packaging. I'll be right back and we'll okay, start. For that. our packaging, we are gonna take another piece of this glitter washi tape. So I'm trying to use up my washi, because you know, I think all of us probably have a ton of washi tape. I don't use mine enough. So I'm taking another piece of this washi tape. I just made it longer than my paper and I'm gonna put it across the bottom here. It's just for decoration. Try to make it easier as I can. Okay, then I am gonna cut off the extra. Okay, there's the washi. All right, and then 
Next, I am going to put pop dots like I have on all the others. You know what, this one needs a little more glue here, so I'm just gonna add the glue. There we go. I'll let that dry for a second. Okay, so I'm just using the Dollar Tree um, dots. They come like this, okay. One on each. I am not taking off the release paper on the back of these so that the person who gets it can just take it off the package pretty easily and then uh, take the release paper off how they want. So then I'm going to arrange how I want to arrange, how it will look pretty to me. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to add a dot of glue on the back of the foam square with the release paper still on it. Okay, so that is good to go. Next, we are going to put it in our packaging. So I just have a cello bag here. I'll put it inside the cello bag. Okay. Flip that up. Give it a little bit of room at the top for the topper. And flip that guy up. More of the washi tape. Okay, just give this a little hole over. Okay. Push some of that air out. Okay, so then my topper is just a pink piece of cardstock for this part. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use hot glue for this. bottom and top and then we are using this die cut which I showed you came from this pack and I'm not going to use hot glue for this particular part I am going to use my art glitter glue Put that where I think it looks the best. Oh, I didn't need them on the handle, I forgot. Oh well, not a big deal. I will just take my rag and do that, and we will be fine. Okay, then, then I will get, I have a couple of beads. Oh, well, I keep calling them beads. A couple of flat backs for right here. Not too much glue. You could use your art glitter glue for this too if you wanted to. And that is our put together package for these pinwheels. And my kitty rat made me do extra work this week, man. Okay, so anyways, that is the last of it. That is the pinwheels, all right? So we have our pinwheels this week, our five packages of pinwheels, and our, let's see if we can get this to go up a little higher, and our five packages of flat back beads. And that is what I am doing for this week. Uh, please leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Um, constructive criticism is welcome. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you'd like to be entered to receive one of each thing that I make for this um, Build Your Stash collaboration, 
like and subscribe and comment on each of the videos for this series. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.